world. We're so excited to bring in Mark Sargent. We're going to talk about Flat Earth some more. I'm Shannon McVay. This is Tim Ray. Let's just bring him in. Bring Good him morning, in. Mark. Drag him in. Drag him in. Good morning. Hey, can you guys see me or is it, am I just audio? Now I see you. Yeah, we see you. Oh, we wow. see you now. We see you. All of you. Look, hey. Refer yeah. to what you say all the time to everybody. I always say, and I give you credit, but when you said non-player characters, that yeah. explains everything <laughs> to me. Because there are people in this world that just don't get it. They just don't yeah. get it. They don't yeah, see there anything. Are, yeah, most of them. In fact, I watched a, a documentary just the other night uh, called A Glitch in the Matrix. And they were they were going into the whole NPC thing. And uh-huh. no, no, I, I, and everyone on there was convinced that most of the people walking around are NPCs. You know them. You've seen them. Yeah. The you know, people they, that wear their masks in their cars alone. Do you think that's because, yeah. Dave, that they, they've been dropping nanotechnology for a long time and they've been they, there are people being manipulated just from the chemtrails and all the rest of that crap? Yeah. Maybe, uh, but they could have been that way since birth. I mean, NPC, you know, we're talking low code programs, basically. Right. Not to use too too many Matrix references, but yeah. So, yeah. I mean, so but again, you know them. I mean, you've seen they make they don't they make decisions that do not make sense. Right. You're staring at them, going, "Why? Why right. would you do this?" Shannon has a question for you about a movie. I do. Your documentary yep. is it true? And I got to go back to the comment. Somebody had commented earlier that you yeah. created this documentary and somebody came out with like a $20,000 laser thing to say that the earth was flat and ended up proving that it was round. And oh, you guys God. just ignored okay, it. Okay, okay. First off, quick correction. I did not make the documentary. That was done by uh, an okay. uh, ind- independent team in L.A. They hated Flat Earth by the end, which is why there was no <laughs> sequel made, even though it tracked really well everywhere. There was no intention of making a sequel. They hated us. Okay. Um, has, which is why they spun it the way they did. Uh, when you're talking about the Globebusters, yeah, we did buy a $20,000 gyro. And did it show 15 degrees? And I know just... I, I I know we're limited on t- how much time do we have? Anyway? We know we, we got we, plenty of time. We, we got You're with us. We got 25 minutes. All right. Um, well, I mean, did it show 15 degrees movement per hour in the sky? Yes. The question is what, what's moving? And that is, we say the sky is moving and mainstream science says the earth is moving, mm. which is true. I don't know. If you watch time lapse of any sky thing, you're going to believe that the sky is moving. So it's just a question of he said, she said type thing. Oh, so but but again, the 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 creators of the film hated us. They spun, which is why they ended the movie. I don't know when the last time you saw it was, which is why they ended the movie with they showing that <laughs> Jaron from Jaronism supposedly screwed up the laser experiment, which he absolutely did not. No, he didn't do he didn't do his due diligence. In the okay. laser experiment, but but they, the problem was, is when they were <laughs> done by the time they realized how much they hated us. The movie was already shot. It was already in the can, and they didn't have enough money to go back and reshoot. So it's like, okay, we're gonna tweak the hell out of this thing in editing. And they and we didn't we didn't even know they hated us until uh, we listened to the iTunes uh, director's commentary. Really? Why, why, do they, why do they hate you so much? I mean, because you're I have to say your your crowd too all uh, hates. Hates uh, Shannon and globalists. You know? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember what? those awful comments? They wanted to like kill me. So I mean, uh, well, so, so there's, okay. a lot of hate, there's, there's a lot of hate going on or on both sides. Yeah. It looks like uh, we could get into so much of that. I mean, right. there's two sides. One, uh, our our community is very very passionate anyway. So anyone, everyone in the Flyers community hated that documentary. And I and I said, what did you hate about it? They go, the dissenting voices. And I go, that's what drew the people in. I go, <laughs> I, go I go, what would you have pulled out? I would have pulled out the astronaut and the scientist and the psychologists and all these people. I go, well, then it would have been a propaganda piece. Right. On the flip side, everyone that hates flat Earth, it's mostly because of conditioning. You know, again, Dave probably told you, you, sh- you put a, gla- a globe in a classroom when you're six years old and you leave it there until at least you graduate from high school. Mm-hmm. That's very strong conditioning. I mean, you put the flag in the corner of your uh, classroom through high school and people join the military. Is, okay. there, is there a flat earth globe like thing that it could be replaced? Is there something created like that? Like, 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 like you, you could put a stand of a flat earth somewhere 
you know, in, 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 oh, in yeah, school. yeah, is we it? have we have a wonderful uh, guy, a guy from the documentary, uh, Chris Pontius, who makes fantastic 3D models. Really? And okay. I was really surprised nobody jumped on that and did some sort of mass production. But yeah, it's uh, it's uh, 3dmodels.com. Well, let, wonderful. Uh, last time we, we had you on, we talked we talked a lot about the, uh, you know, the things that are, or, or didn't make sense to being the flat earth. And I think we, sure. covered, we covered a lot of that with Dave already. So to advance yeah. the conversation here, can we talk about why, what's the conclusion? Why we're being lied to more so in detail? Uh, because to me, are that's... you talking about flat Earth? Don't flat look earth. at my yeah, question. Yeah. Why, why lie about the Earth? Why, why lie about yeah, the Earth? Yeah. Yeah. Make it even, that was my question. I'll make it even more simple. Too. Let no, let's say you oh. figure it out. Let's say you're a black hat, right? Let's say you you um, you figure it out in 1960 because that's when we're saying we we basically the governments didn't have the ability. We didn't have the the raw technology to figure it out until 1960. Do you tell people? Well, your initial instinct, being a journalist, media person, is like, oh, the people have a right to know. We should tell people. And then all of a sudden, it's like, whoa, wait a minute. What could happen if we tell people this? And potentially, it's utter chaos. I mean, uh, real quick, uh, academically, all the universities would have to burn libraries down and rebuild them from scratch because so many things would have to change. Uh, economically, world markets would have to be suspended for months because it's like, what the hell does it mean? I mean, come on, the, the market's been so twitchy as it is. This would be bigger than the alien uh, uh, variable. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah let, me, let me get to that. You can't and, believe uh, in aliens and flat Earth at the same time, right? Yes. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. You can. I'd, I have to get to that too. Okay. <laughs> the, um, the the third <laughs> yeah, one is religion, too. which is um, all the five major religious houses of the world: of uh, Judaism, Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, Christianity. They would all be given leverage against science simultaneously. You throw those three things, you have an X Men smoking man room where they're all of a sudden it's like, what's the worst that could happen? And, right? And they list <laughs> off. It's like, yeah, we're not telling anybody until we figure this out. <laughs> to, to your point, though, look what happened. And they would have used back then because Roswell was only thirteen years old at the time. Um, they would have said, look what the hell happened with Roswell. Right? We only had radio and newspapers, and people were freaking the hell out. Uh, because because of the concept. It's like, no, people aren't ready. Well, they were not ready in 1960. I would have been right there in the Black Hat meeting going, yeah, we're not telling people. <laughs> to your point, though, about aliens, um, do it, they, yes, they can coexist. Do I think, I've seen them with night vision. You want to look up in the sky and see some freaky stuff, get some night vision binoculars, five power or higher, yeah, 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 Gen yeah. start staring at the sky. It's crawling with things. Really? And they're they're moving all over the place. The question is, where are they from? Right mm -hmm. now, once you're once you're into flat Earth, you know they're not from Mars or Jupiter or Venus and something like that. They're probably just older versions of us. Could be interdimensional, but they're definitely they're definitely not millions and billions of, of of light years away. They're just right here with us, and they seem to have rules for whatever reason. They can't seem to land in somebody's backyard, take a few selfies, shake hands, and leave. <laughs> for obvious reasons. Prime directive, probably. On that, on the alien, just why do you think mainstream media is gearing us up for an alien invasion? Because that, that's I what know. they're doing. Why? Uh, you know, and I don't like to get into it too much because it, it's one of those things that I have wa wanted for so long. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Take if me you're, if, home! If, yeah, if you're old enough, you, I mean, Alien and Bigfoot and Loch Ness Monster, those stories have been around forever. Predate most of the other conspiracies. It's been around for a long time. Uh, so, and I hear this every once in a while. It's all oh, we're going to disclose this, or we're going to disclose this. Yeah, the fact that mainstream's talking about it, and I've had enough people. It's like you know, main, you know, sending me different articles. It's like, okay, I mean, eventually, maybe they, they they would. But when they do, if it finally happens, if all of a sudden you know, the ship, it's like, oh look, a ship just landed in the middle of Paris. Uh, I'll be the first one to say. What the hell took you so long? Mm. It's like, what were you waiting for? And timing is everything. Yeah. Okay, to bring it back to Flat Earth real quick, because Dave, I didn't get to ask any questions because this guy over <laughs> here. So he was saying, he touched upon that not all Flat Earthers think that it's a dome. Is that yeah. true? So yeah, can yeah, you yeah, explain that was a little bit about this? Yeah, that was in the documentary Tell us about as the well. the inside fighting. That's what I want to know. <laughs> yeah. It, it's you know, I between them, not for us. In the doc well, no, no. In the documentary, I said that it's kind of the, the flat Earth communities, kind of like the Scottish Highlands, where you know we'll they'll, we'll hack each. There's a there's a unified <laughs> cause there. That's great. I love that. <laughs> See, that's like family. I can beat my brother up, but nobody else can, right? You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly. And so with the dome thing, I knew it was going to happen. Like, yeah, it's, and it's a big margin. It's like seventy percent dome, thirty percent no dome. Your dome. And 
I'm dumb. Yeah. And Dave's dumb, I think. Uh, in fact, I'm 90% sure Dave's dumb. Uh, yeah. But there's some people that don't, it, the, the attitude behind the other people are, they still think it's flat, but they don't like being fenced in. They don't like being constricted. It's mm. like, man, you're being all captain bring down and enclosing me. <laughs> Whatever. It's like you still have that gravity versus the atmosphere of the space problem if you don't have a dome. But it's fine. I don't, I've gotten into debates with people. We, when we do conferences and meetups, we're all great friends, but we, yeah, we have differences and people well, you know, write books. But, but rightfully so. See, that's real. I mean, whether you agree with it or not, whether I agree with it or not, doesn't matter. But you're actually having, having open dialogue, critical thinking dialogue, yeah. and it forces everyone to grow or to be mm -hmm. more stronger in their belief or to be open-minded. See, we don't have that anymore in America or, or in the world right now. It's being destroyed every second right now uh, and purposefully. Yeah. Uh, so I love, th I love that level of creativity and I don't mind the disagreeing. I think that's very healthy. Now, yeah. when, when it comes to the, um, the purpose like, are we just fodder for some some evil reptilian aliens playing with us and not having their way? Because I do believe in paranormal stuff. I do believe in like, entities, like it's the Truman Show? entities being around us in other dimensions that are influencing us and conditioning us. And that we're, right. we're in this three-dimensional world stuck here and we can't see that right now. I do believe right. all that. And I, I think that can go in hand in hand with potential flat earth theory, I, I assume. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think there's layers to it. Uh, the first rule of power has never changed in, in history, which is stay hidden. I, I love when people talk about, oh, it's Gates doing this, it's Bezos yeah, doing no, this. It's, no. it's like, I go, they couldn't be They're more puppets. new money, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, <laughs> I go, you want to talk? The, 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 <laughs> the, the, they are. They are extremely new money <laughs> yeah. when it comes to that. It's like, th talk to the people that haven't had to worry about their bank accounts for a few centuries. Yeah, then you right. might, be getting, <laughs> might be getting closer. But that's the, that's the whole, it's the curse and the blessing of being the puppet master. Mm -hmm. And that is, you can't be on the stage and pulling the strings at the same time. Uh, what was the, I think Napoleon said it. He was very quotable. He said, never put yourself in a position that you can be overthrown. Mm. Which means the, the, if you're a puppet master, like the X-Files people, the people can't go after you if they don't know who you are. Yeah. So, you know, are there reptilians? But then that's staying you know, quiet. The what? That's staying quiet. Yeah, but they're manipulating people to do their bidding. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like, the, the, it's like the Noah Hyde laws. They're, they're using uh, Shiera laws. What do they call that? Muslim laws? Mm. What do they call that? I can't remember. We don't know what you're talking about. I, I can't laws, pronounce it. Shira laws. Anyway, um, so you, they're using that to be the front man, and they're just getting their laws put into place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, but at the same time, you have to be anonymous. You cannot break out of that. You can't be both because once you're public, so it's like, it feels like, oh, Elon Musk is doing all this stuff. It's like, Elon Musk is a freaking tool. Yeah. He, right. you know, he's, yeah. He's, he's allowed to do He's not even an American citizen. God <laughs> sake. Oh, it drives me nuts. Anyway, so do I think there's layers and do I think there's people controlling us at higher levels? Sure. Uh, at that point, though. So we don't have free will. Are people are having spiritual experiences, seeing the energies and interactions. I mean, it's, it's, it's real. But you've got to believe that. in yeah. free will, Mark. Of course he does. Right? Uh, no, he doesn't. He just said there's people controlling us. Uh, well, okay. For, no, let, no, let him okay. talk. I don't know if I brought this up. Put duct tape over his mouth so you can talk, okay, please. Okay, controlling or manipulating. It's a the big difference. For, well, free will, and I, I probably, uh, we don't have a lot of time, but I'll, I'll bring we it up do, real quick. Mark, you guys, any, <laughs> any listeners want to look up, look up an experiment? There's an experiment there called free will uh, versus neuroscience. And it's, it, we didn't design it, you know, scientists did. It's like you hook up basically, uh, real quick, you hook up electrodes to a person's brain, you put them on a computer, you say, okay, pick a number between one and 10. And they start measuring your brain waves, right? That's what scientists do. It sounds pretty cliche. And they said, oh yeah, also note the time you were gonna hit the button. So number between one and 10, and, and you say five, right? You, you think five and you press five, right? You note the time. Well, they can tell that you were gonna pick the number Eight seconds before you picked it. That's a long time. And so what does that does that mean we have free, which is why scientists hate it? It's like, okay, do we have free will? Are we living in an interactive virtual thing? Right. Or are we living in a virtual movie? which we already set out ahead of time. That and would gets, mean that nothing gets, really matters. Well, that we're well, just or told what Shannon. to do. You're no, no, told it's not that we don't, nothing matters. It's just that we, it's, it's called predestination, where we made the choices ahead of time before going right. in. Right. 
Which I don't think not, I believe it's not that. that. It I'm not on board I, with I'm that yet. I'm not on board with that, but I'll tell you why. Yeah, but, but, I go. I, I had to bring it up because you asked. A lot of my Christian friends are, though. A lot of my Christian churches are 100% predestination. They are, they believe that. But go to ahead. Dave's to D- Dave's point, though, I see. Dave. I, I, I'm sorry, Dave. Mark. Mark's point, sorry. <laughs> uh, to Mark's point is that that the, I know, right? The, um, the Mark's Dave point. Dave behind me? <laughs> <laughs> is that is that the, coming to take uh, telepa- away, huh? telepathy when you think see it's very it, when you think of something before when you think of it and then it comes to your mouth and you share it it's a yep. very inefficient That's energy pro- it's a very inefficient process because it takes time to, to, there's a yeah. delay right yeah but when you're telepathically communicating with someone it's instantaneous even then may certain still be a delay to a certain uh. degree. So I think that's more of what you're experiencing when people say they, can, they they're knowing your thoughts. There's an eight second delay because it's, yeah. it's, a, it's an energy transference process, you know? So anyway, that's just my, two I want to know Mark, cause you were on our shows. Like, don't even answer this. This All is right. ridiculous. You are, you are allowed to think what you think. He's allowed to think what he thinks. I just told him what I thought. Yes. No, I, I no, I, that, I get it. I'm, I'm groovy. It's you're look, good. All God's All children. Right. So what are you okay. judging? Shannon, so, Shannon wants to know what, what else would her, your fans think of her. That's no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Please stay away from that. I want to know about. Do you believe in infinite universes and like into infinite dimensions and a big old Spe- galaxy? Speaking of flat universe, yes. You, yeah, 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 yeah. Why? Why? I've said this many times in other things, which is why would this be a one-off? What? Why? If if there's if there's higher powers, whoever built this, I'm sure has the full ability to to build more of them. Why wouldn't you have a whole room full of them in different stages of progression? You know, huh. it's like oh, they're in the med- medieval times. It's like I mean, not not to say that this whole thing's for God's amusement, although there are scriptures to that effect. That'd be kind uh, of evil. But, but why not? Yeah, the, uh, it, if it's infinite, a satanic god like half the population believe, you know, it could be evil, a jealous, uh, angry good, satanic uh, god. How how can you have hero a hero without the villain? Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Light without shadow. So what's the point, point, though, Mark? Get to the point. What's the what? point? <laughs> what's the point, Mark? What's the point of flat Earth? What's what's the game here? Just to learn to, for the humans to grow into their their knowing that they are of God and that they are spiritual beings. Or is it just to, for amusement to be tortured like a cat in a no, mouse? No, 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 no. I, I think <laughs> that, no, I do think this place is, is where we are is more of a school. I mean, it can only be one of three things. It can either be entertainment, uh, which doesn't seem likely because there's a lot of people aren't having fun. Uh, <laughs> it could be confinement. And if it's a prison, it's like, uh, it's a pretty nice prison. I mean, there's some really nice places. I'm not in, complaining. In uh, or it could be some sort of school. And school kind of feels like both. Sometimes when you're there, you're learning <laughs> stuff. I think I think it's this place is more of a perspective uh, because people say, "Well, what's outside of here?" And I say, "Well, if this world is 99.9 percent conflict, meaning doesn't matter how rich, how powerful, how beautiful, how talented you are, you're always oh, complaining about something, right?" always complain about i mean the mansion it's like my servants don't do this and <laughs> if you're beautiful you're constantly looking in the mirror it's like oh god am i still beautiful and so on and so on um but if if this world is 99 percent conflict then i think what's outside of here is 99.9 percent unlimited i think it's cyclical i think we get perspective because when we're out i, I kind of use it again we don't have tons of time the uh, I use the the thousand um, or the the million wish genie thing. So let's say you had a genie and you he says I'll give you three wishes and you're like ah one of my wishes is a million wishes gotcha yeah and you start just pulling them off right right well eventually how many wishes can you get through yeah and genie will tell you he goes you're never going to make it to a million and eventually at the end he goes and you go to him it's like man I goes I am out of ideas what can I do he goes well I do have a place. You're going to hate it. It's going to suck. But you're there for 70, 80 years, and it's going to be just, just pure conflict. And and he goes, and, and you go, oh. And he goes, I go, why would I go there? It's like, well, because when you come back, you'll appreciate this so much more. And, he, and, he, and then you say, what's the catch? He goes, the catch is you're never going to remember this conversation. He snaps his fingers Thanos style, and... Voila, you're here in a green screen talking so to me. So is that like reincarnation? My God, you, you read my notes. You're so full of You shit. read my look, notes. Look, look at mine, reincarnation right here. He's a liar. You, why are, see, you know what? We just telepathically communicated. <laughs> you or should write somebody. a grocery list one day and slip it over there. <laughs> All right, so lifetime versus the typical Christian belief, one life. 
Well, no, no, no. Well, the Christian, uh, and, uh, you know, forgive me. I was, I was raised born again, evangelical Christian, which uh, shouldn't even get into the whole Heavenly revelation. Father, I love you. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about the vaccine later another time. <laughs> the, um, how it affects Christianity, but, um, but no, no, no. I, with, with Christianity, it, it tends to be, it's like, okay, once you get to heaven, it's like the angels and the choir and you stand up there and you sing and, and that's it. That's the end of the story. I think it's the end of one story, but I think there's more to follow. I mean, the the Bible does have to end, but you know, I think another book picks up. So, but uh, but but lifetimes, people. Yeah, I, I believe in, like if uh, you're in reincarnation. Saying that we and, come for ninety nine percent con conflict. Does that mean that we are reincarnated? Like we get to live again? Is that what you're saying? Uh, not from the Hindu standpoint, but yeah, yeah, I do because it's cyclical, meaning. It's the only way to, to regain perspective. Eventually, not, I know people, some Christians are like, it's blasphemy, but you've heard me say this before, which is, look, eventually, even heaven, you are got to get used to it, right? There's, again, there's only so many wishes, even if you could do your own wishes. A lot of people think of heaven, it's like, oh, okay, get in line, you know, get your yeah, robe on. And it's yeah, like, oh, yeah. God, that sounds horrible. It's like a vaccine line, you know? Yeah, there, salvation, there you salvation's in this vaccine. Yeah, there you go. But but no, I, for me, that's I'm just saying that's how I would do it. Yeah, because okay. it just it how, how it's a constant refresh. Just the theory. It's the whole. Okay, so we do you no, believe in soul con, con contracts. contracts? Contracts. Yeah, like soul, soul contracts. contracts. Oh, well, I mean, you would have to volunteer for it. Right. Uh, you know, with, meaning when you're there, when you're there, it w- that would also make sense. And that is, you don't you don't get forced here. You have to. You have to ask. It's like, hey, help me out. And it's like, all right. So here so, you go. So the people in charge. Then, if if it's a who's vol- in charge? Well, my point is, if it's a voluntary aspect, which I agree with everything you said so far in reference to why we come here and have these experiences, a yeah. school experience, let's say for example. Cool. Um, but yeah. w- with that being said, it seems like it has to be a benign energy that's in charge of this flat Earth experiment, because otherwise. Um, we wouldn't. Why would we volunteer to go into something that's being evil and driven in a, from a from an evil perspective? And maybe here on <sighs> Earth it is, but from there coming to here, it has to be. You know, the maker has to be a, a, a benign entity. Uh, okay, <laughs> there's a couple different tracks I could take here. One would be obviously the hero's journey, which is there's always going to be these deep valleys where you're like, oh, he's never going to get out of it. Um, but I'm also a big believer that these worlds, that if there's more than one, are also given fragments of God, meaning God, God the, the thing was, I, I, I've said for years, which is, did God build this or did God subcontract out the work? Or did God just write a program that said, okay, this benign, in this case, I mean, it, it, it always won. I always wondered why the Old Testament felt like a child that was having a temper tantrum a lot <laughs> and just burning yeah, things like, down. Like, 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 like a capricious like, God. I'm not into Or a, like a Shannon. I'm like, not into this, capricious gods, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, like crashing the dinosaur into the <laughs> fire engine, like, <laughs> you know, all the time. And it's like, wouldn't, wouldn't that make sense, though, to have the world kind of progress naturally? But also have whoever's running this particular world, you know, whatever energy, whatever entity running this particular world. Now, of course, God has the the total say. But when he's running this, whoever's running this particular world would be you start them out young and they progress as well because that would they progress sort of randomly. And because it just seems like whoever's so, so been Satan's running learning, place, Satan's learning how to be good. Be, 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 Satan's learning how to be a good angel again. Well, no. that well, yeah. There's He's a, that's always a whole evil. Other thing. Is that true? How do you know yes. that? How do you like? Because I, I, I listen to the up. Bible. I, I read up. the Bible. Oh God, you know? I screwed up. <laughs> Look, Satan. You either Satan believe in the Bible is, or you don't. No, I don't know what to it's do. It's not that black. You can't. Yes, it, it is that black. It, and white. No, it's not that black. Mark. White. What? <laughs> Satan's a great villain, right? You need <laughs> you need him. In, look, in this story, without him, it's just la, 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 and nothing happens. Yeah, you're right. right. So you, you have to – look, any great – look, you guys watch a lot of media. You can't have <laughs> pro- protagonist, antagonist. You can't have one without the other. The story That's means us. nothing without Yeah, it makes sense. So he's got his purpose. I mean, people keep forgetting. It's like, well, God built Satan as well. Why did he do it? Yeah. It's like, 
yeah, you need this, the frowny face in the drama poster as well. And not to mention, Satan at one point was a pretty good angel. It was one of All God's right. best angels. I want to talk to you about Flat Earth. I want to know what is your mic drop moment to how to how do you convince people in layman's terms that Flat Earth is no doubt true and the, that the Earth is not you, you round. Want, you want, right, you give want, you, you want normally to punch. I give you my top. I, yes. I give you my top five, but I'll give you my top two. Yeah. Um, because of the, the ones that are used most often. Uh, the one that's used, Dave will probably show you. If, I don't know if you guys allowed green screen. Yeah, for him or it was great. It was really helpful, actually, to having that, that the, the power. Oh, yeah. He's, he's been doing that now for a couple of years. That's good. That's smart. I like, off that. videos. I like it. And I've watched people just stare at the screen on the other side going, what? <laughs> <laughs> that was me. I had no clue what he was saying. I was yeah. the whole time. Yeah. I was following him. It was good. He doesn't he realize that for a lot of people, he's hitting them with so so much information that they that probably have to watch the whole thing. Yeah, again a couple exactly. Times. Go back and watch it again. You know. So go ahead, Dave. Dave answer layman's your question. terms. Okay, Mark. layman's terms. The the, the top two, Shannon. the most popular one, which Dave uses a lot, would be long dis long distance photography, which I didn't even come up with uh, when I was doing when I put out the clues back in 2015. People all of a sudden start saying, "Oh yeah, we're taking we're taking cameras to the beach. We're shooting long distance." And I actually asked, "Like, why the hell are you doing that?" It's like because water's perfectly level, man, and there's stuff out there that should be on the other side of the curve. And I'm going, "And?" And it's like, "Yeah, but with the, I didn't realize because I never really owned cameras when I, when I was growing up." So you go, they basically HD changed the game. HD cameras now you can crank up the zoom. I'm sure he showed you, and you can see objects which should be gone. 20 years ago, you couldn't have done this. Now you can, which is like the boat, the lighthouse, whatever. It should be on the other side of the hill. Meaning the curvature of the earth, the, once it's gone, it's gone. You can't see yeah, something yeah, that's yeah, over yeah, the side yeah, of the hill. Yeah, yeah. And it is. And the a picture is worth a thousand words. And that's what most people gravitate towards. Gotcha. Is the, well, that's the, provable. Uh, Anybody could prove that, you know? Oh, yeah. And that's why they did. I mean, yeah. tons and tons. We, honestly, I'm really surprised Nikon never contacted us and like <laughs> get sponsored us for stuff. So many people bought out the, the P900s and eventually wow. the P1000. What's your second one? Uh, the second one, which is my favorite, is the gravity versus the vacuum of space, which is... Uh, so let's say there's a second floor to your building, which I think there is. Uh, and above you, you create a vacuum chamber, right? And you put a valve right above you and you pull the switch, right? What happens? It's not like the movies. It's instant. It's violent. All the air equalizes, you know, pressure, non-pressure, just right. You might even die. You'll definitely black out. So the question is, why didn't gravity hold the air in your room instead of sending it upstairs? And it's because vacuum, the, the pressure differential will win. Vacuum wins every time. Vacuum is extremely powerful. It basically, it's, it, it's tough to visualize for people because they don't realize that what we're breathing right here is not nothing. Right. In fact, it's 80% nitrogen and 20% oxygen. It's not nothing. It's you're basically breathing a fog, a thin version of water. So the question is when you go outside, why is our atmosphere still here? Mm. Meaning you have a giant vacuum chamber, the biggest vacuum chamber of all surrounding the whole world. Uh, what, what, why? Because they're spinning and, and making a vacuum. No, no, no. I, well, no, the, the, the answer that most people is like, well, it's got to be gravity. I go, you yeah. mean the same gravity that couldn't keep the air in your room? Just now, that right 30 feet away, now you're outside and you're seeing that the same gravity can't. The, the, and I've had people say, well, there's, there's more gravity. I was like, no, 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 it's the same freaking gravity. <laughs> so the question is, what happens at the bleeding edge of space? Meaning, when you get up at like 500, 600 miles or whatever they say, what happens? You know, where, and, and people, scientists just, just drop. They just don't know what to do. They're like, uh, well, there's a molecule differential. They have no idea. <laughs> no idea. And so that's well, that's, that's, that's two excellent points to contemplate. But Thank do you. you believe in gravity? Oh, that's David's thing. Uh, he and I differ on this. Well, I know I do believe in density, but to, he he'll tell you. I'm sure you heard this before in the last thing, which is every scientist you go to will say, we can't tell you what gravity is. We can only tell you what it does. We can only tell you the symptoms mm. of gravity. You drop something, it falls to the floor. It appears to be gravity, but it could also be density. Which is, if you take a beach ball and you hold it underneath a, the water at a pool or motion or whatever, and it pops back up, was it defying gravity? No, it was because it was less dense than the water around it. <laughs> right. right. Well, you can do that with just about anything. You've probably Feathers seen those wonderful and, towers yeah, with yeah. all these different layers. So is could gravity also come into play, some sort of electromagnetic thing? Sure. But density does make a lot of sense because, look, if we're, we call it air pressure. Why? Because it's not a pressurized system. <laughs> if it's a pressurized system, it's air pressure. Where's the freaking barrier? Don't greenhouse gases make more sense if it's an actual greenhouse? 
Yeah. It's an actual physical dome up there. It doesn't make more sense because I always wonder. It's like, oh, I got these fluorocarbons, and everything going up there. It's like, then what happens? They just stay there at right. a certain level. Fascinating. While they fly off into space. Fascinating. Jesus. Mark. What is your... God, why, my, I don't know why I want to, because he keeps saying day, he's, you know, Mark. He's Mark, obsessed. Sergeant, yeah. how can people reach you? We got we got to get going here. I know. We got we got to wrap this up. Uh, the easiest way is just <laughs> go into YouTube and type in Flat Earth Mark or my name, Mark Sargent. Uh, a reminder to the entire Christian community, Revelation 13 and 14 is no joke.